Hello everybody, I'm Vortech, and welcome to a new game I'm considering bringing to the channel called Crest. This game was sent to me by the developer Eat, Create, Sleep today, and I'm really excited to put it on the channel. I've messed around with it a little bit, I'm not very good at it, but it's a very interesting concept and I'm really excited to show you guys. If you want to see more, I'm considering making a series, maybe about... I don't know, about five episodes or so. So if you're interested, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more. Uh, we're just going to jump right in. I've done the tutorial. I kind of have a basic understanding of the game. So we're going to hit new game here and go right in. So we have our new group of followers on their desert island. And right now, it's everything's just kind of, I don't know, I, just meh. They don't have a god to worship. So that's where I come in. I come in and write them commandments, and it helps them progress and survive. We're actually going to pause, because I've killed these villagers like twice now, and <laughs> it's very, very difficult to write commandments and balance them properly, because the way they interpret them is kind of what, what sets this game apart. It's not that you, I give them an action and they perform it, and that's how they survive. I give them an action based on my, my theory of what's wrong, and they need to interpret that action in order to survive. So it tells us here, if we zoom in, what's going on, why our villagers are unhappy. And they're all a little bit different, which is interesting. So each house is representing each villager. Now let's get out of the commandment writing list here. Uh, if we go in, we can see that all the followers have accumulated food. And it looks like they're all overfed. So food currently isn't a problem, but if you scroll over their faces, they are unhappy right now, and I'm not quite sure how to make them happy, which is why we scroll over them and see what's going on. So, right here we have the happiness menu. Now, I'm still trying to understand this, but it looks like the everything in red needs to be turned to green. That means you've done something right. So, this villager's unhappy because of farm jobs, mine jobs, offspring, metal in abundance, and moving out. I think we need to get all of those green, but the moving out is a little bit confusing. I don't think we want them to move out. I'm still trying to understand this menu. It seems that while I make them happy, those things turn green. The thing about this game is the tutorial explains the very basics and kind of lets you go, and it's all about discovery at that point. So our list of commandments is none right now. Our villagers are just kind of doing what they do. They've started out with a decent amount of food, and we can see like a, a just a bird's eye view. The city is unhappy. Uh, there's no, no one's having babies or anything, and we have, I guess, let's see, the mean of all followers age. It looks like all of our followers are relatively young, overfed, they have accumulated metals, and they have an abundance of food. So, great. What do we do with this? I would say we start writing some commandments. It's my assumption that this game is kind of all about striking a balance, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try something, because I feel like... They're just going to do what I say in the commandments, so why not write a whole bunch of commandments and then just let the game loose and see what they end up doing with them. So what I'm going to do is say this. I want young followers to move to the forest. Let's try that first. Young followers move to the forest. Then I want people who live in the forest to... Hmm... I want them to prioritize babies. I want people who live in the forest to do dirty stuff to each other and make babies. All right, that seems fair. People who live in the forest, I'm going to tell them to, hmm, gather food? I guess gather food, let's do that. Uh, I want people who live in the desert, which is all of these people, uh, <laughs> to go ahead and mine for metals. That should be good, right? We're gonna balance them out a little bit. So now we have four commandments. Uh, what else can we do? I think we should take, uh, old followers and tell them to move to the desert. So, the young live in the forest, the old live in the desert, and they just mine all day. I guess that's retirement for my people? I don't know. <laughs> but there we go. We've added another commandment. We can have as many of these as we want and just kind of see what happens. So, young followers move to the forest and make more young followers. Old followers, uh, move to the desert and mine all day. I, I think that's okay. I don't know if the people living in the forest will be a connected to this city or not. That's going to be an interesting thing. So I've prioritized food. Maybe we should say hungry followers 
uh, prioritize. I, I don't know. Hopefully that means eating food and not gathering. Because uh, that's important. We don't want hungry followers to die. Uh, we should have... Maybe overfed followers should have a priority of their own. I don't know. Should should overfed followers... Let's do this. Overfed followers, which is all of these people, uh, need to prioritize old followers. I don't know. Maybe... I don't, I don't think that means give old followers food. But if they're overfed... Ah, okay. Alright. I got an idea. If they're overfed, they should go mine for metals. That's... I think that'll get more people mining metals. Because you have your food, you're good. Now go mine for some metal. I have quite the list of, of uh, priorities and commandments here. I'm not sure what's going to happen. We're just going to hit fast forward and see how things go. So, they're still alive. They're... Uh, Hmm. They're kind of, I don't know, what are they doing? Sleeping right now? Coming in and out. It, the forest is kind of growing, which is good, uh, thanks to that river. It's raining. Where are they going? Oh, it looks like they're mining. Are they all old? Hmm. All right. So, the age of our followers is getting kind of up there. They're getting to their midlife. Uh, they're still not happy. If we go into the houses, what's what's making them not happy? Uh, they have metal, but they don't have farm jobs or anything like that. It, it seems that they haven't prioritized... Hmm. Farming. Unhappy followers. Farm jobs. We should do something about that, but I think I think it's too late. I've sped up the game, and now everyone's dying of... I guess starvation? Follower died of starvation. Huh, great. <laughs> now we have one guy left. And he's neutral! This guy is actually, uh, he went from unhappy to neutral. Maybe he's happy being alone. Can, I don't think he can make babies if he's all alone now. Huh. Alright, well that was an interesting experiment. He's mining for metal. He's, he's getting up there in age. That's not good. Let's see now. Go into the house. No chance of getting a child, but he's old now. And so he... Lives in the desert mining for metals, and he's happy. He's happy doing that. Offspring, metals in abundance. Huh. Looks like he's going to get flooded out of his house. Oh. Let's see. He's moving? Oh, he's building a new city. What? That was weird. So I guess he got old and decided to move to the desert, but I thought they lived... Before, it showed that they lived in the desert. Hmm. He's happy again. But is he dead? No? Well, this is really interesting. Uh, your legacy ends here. Alright. Well, there you have it. There is Crest. I'm not very good at this game, as you can see. Uh, the priorities, maybe I'm overthinking them, maybe I'm underthinking them, but that's what I want you guys to tell me in the comments. If you want to see more, I'm happy to make a few more videos on this game. I would really like to, but first I would like to have some advice and have some guidance. I need someone making commandments for me so I can make commandments for them. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting at. But thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed, leave a like, let me know in the comments. And uh, all the info for getting yourself a copy of Crest is down below. Big thanks to the, the uh, developer Eat, Create, Sleep for sending this to me uh, I really appreciate it and I hope uh, yeah I hope to see you guys soon in another video I do videos just about every day if I can on this channel so subscribe for more I'll see you guys next time I want to go to the weapon shop and try to get equipped with a uh, a sword honestly I got 3900 gold but I should let's build a farm first that'll produce some extra gold uh, building is a whole thing in this game let's build a barracks as well